Hey everybody, that's part here, and today I'm going to bring you guys just a little tutorial on something that uh, it's highly recommended you do while playing uh, Revelation Online. So around level 30, you will reach a dungeon right here called Sunken Gallows. I highly recommend going down here and doing this dungeon, and you can actually continuously farm it because the creatures have a high respawn rate. So once you get into the dungeon, you can do this solo, um, or you can do it with friends, whatever. But you're going to go over here and talk to this gentleman. And you have ring, or uh, your amulet, necklaces. So, starting off tier. Now just to let you know, the starter one actually can fall in the dungeon from just their mobs. So I recommend doing that way instead of spinning these crystals to make the starter one. But then you get to the 39, you can use the starter one to craft a level 39 39 to craft a 49 so on and so forth all the way up to 79 which is really nice same thing with rings you have two different types one's for a sword mage spirit spirit shaper cultist uh, well, I guess they both are but one uses dream band and one uses dream ring so that gives you two rings and it goes all the way up to 78 and then your earrings, which go all the way up to 77. And your starter ones are dangling dream earrings and dream earrings. Now, all of these can, the starter ones, can drop off a mob. So I recommend doing that. I already found all of mine. Uh, there's one of the rings. There, I've already got my necklace up to 39. Um, so, yeah. Um, the items, what I usually do, I always do it up farming on uh, the first level because there's two levels of this. You just go into one of these rooms. Gather a bunch of mobs. Now they have a short aggro distance so I don't pull more than one room. I'll go away. Yeah, I can't. You only get so much XP in this dungeon per per day, so because you can constantly just farm it. Well, you can see the respawn rate is pretty high. So you just really any people in this game are pretty cool about it. Usually, if you're in a room farming, no one's gonna bug you, so you can just sit here and farm. It's also a good way if you're mentoring, even though you can't get XP if you're mentoring someone, so someone a lower level. But I think it's 10 levels. Uh, you'll still get XP because you're actually getting mentor XP instead of dungeon XP, which is kind of nice. Uh, I have a friend that I was mentoring earlier through here. Um, mentoring is just the uh, ability of you taking a lower level into a dungeon and running them through it. Uh, doing that grants you special XP and rep. And I'll do another video on that later. Get out of my... This guy obviously doesn't give a crap.
And then there we go, my first drop of the item that we're looking for, the crystal. So actually, I guess I can show you guys a little bit of what a mentor's like. Let's see, we'll invite them to my team. Zoe. I see you get glyph notes. Glyph notes are nice because you got to use glyph notes to like teleport, all that good stuff. So glyph notes are awesome. Thank you. Alright guys, well I think that's it for the video today. Everybody have a Merry Christmas and I'll catch you later.